today it is what day is it it's friday and today is officially christmas shopping day i was meant to do this earlier this week on monday but all my trains got cancelled and then i thought i'd try again what was it yesterday or the day before and that didn't work out either so here we are it's officially christmas shopping day it has to be done today because we're actually seeing people that need gifts at the weekend so nothing like leaving it till the last dying second but first things first we are going in with la creme by claire de pope my skin feels so dry today like some days i get away with just putting on a serum and then my spf but this is not the time it's the like the temperature switches between like going inside and outside at the moment i can feel it really drying my skin out even just like having the heating on like i can feel such a difference um in like the air car air con's not helping like everything just feels like it's drying my skin out I'm going in with a nice heavy duty moisturizer today this one's lovely very very spinny but gorgeous and super hydrating so i'll take it i've actually forgotten to do my neck quick 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 so this morning we are going to do our annual christmas tip run which we like to do um it's probably the most boring adult thing but we like to do it before christmas because otherwise by new year like we are overflowing and the house looks like a recycling center so we're going to do that this morning on our way into brighton and then we're going to have a few hours of christmas shopping i've only allotted us a few hours literally and then i have to come home and i have a call and i've done that on purpose because i don't actually want to spend a whole day faffing around in Brighton looking for Christmas presents for the, a list of people that is actually relatively short like it's just not a good use of time so I've been getting in there nice and early it's probably still going to be absolutely rammed but yeah we're going to get in early get out early have a very productive day and then I really want to like just make a nice like festive kind of or like hearty dinner tonight and watch a Christmas film that's all I want to do and maybe do some wrapping whilst I watch the Christmas film. I feel like that's like peak adulting right there. It's like buying your Christmas presents and then wrapping them same day. I mean, watch me have an absolute hernia whilst doing it because I actually hate wrapping. So in terms of makeup today, we're gonna go really light and fresh. I don't wanna do anything too mad today. I just wanna look like nice and glowy and polished, but almost like doesn't really look like i'm wearing makeup i say that and then it will end up looking like full glam but that's what i'm aiming for i honestly have no idea what i'm gonna wear today either it's just absolutely freezing at the moment i have decided i'm officially retiring from being a fashion influencer for the year for the winter for the season because it's too cold and i don't want to wear anything that's not like my knitwear and a huge huge coat so uh, yeah, if, unless you want knitwear recommendations, I'm officially retiring. If you want advice on looking good, do not come to me because I am not that girl right now until maybe like mid-Feb, maybe early March. Oh, just kidding. Please don't leave me. But it is really hard right now to know what to wear. I think I need to like watch some YouTube videos from some of my Canadian favourites and get some inspo because it's just not normally like this this time of year i feel very confused oh this corrector the bobby brown corrector is just life what dark circles what dark circles a little bit of armani a contour shade 21 i love this i was watching the footage back from a vlog that i was editing the other day where i used this and i did my full face of or almost full face of armani and i just really loved how everything looked okay i'm gonna have to officially speed this up because i need to get ready to go and i have about an hour and that includes packing the car with all of my recycling so cue the montage <laughs>
How are you going to see with all that? outfit of the day because I didn't get to show you at home. I'm wearing my stand studio faux fur coat, so cozy. Um, I've got a Zara roll neck on, Zara trousers, Fendi boots, YSL bag, YSL sunnies, gold earrings. I'll link some similar. Victoria Edge of Amber necklace and my gloves I think are from Amazon. Where's Ryan gone? There he is. You ready for your Starbucks? Are you ready for your Starbucks? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ryan demanded, he said, I'm not doing any Christmas shopping until there's Starbucks. Then pigeon steps until I'm at Starbucks. <laughs> That's what they all used to do. Fortunately, there is a Starbies right across the road, so you're in luck. I need the post office, the post box as well. I think there's one up there. in the motherland. God, I just love coming to Boots. I've already found an OG beauty product that I am not leaving without. Ryan has summoned me upstairs in Boots because apparently he's trying on glasses, so let's go and find him. There he is. What's he found? Oh, <laughs> look at you. <laughs> what have you found? Oh, you are feeling bougie today. I was trying to not come over here, but they've got one of the best shapes. They do, they do. You know me. I love a wire set. My sunglasses that I'm wearing right now are from them. Yeah, yeah they're the best. Just Big fan. Yeah. Out. What do these ones look like? I know Ryan loves a clear. I oh, really. Let me see. They feel quite big. They're bigger than some of the other ones. They still look good on you. God. Damn, I do not look this good with glasses on. It's very sad. Sad times for Suze. What else? They're kind of clear, but... Yeah, show me. Oh. I like them. It's weird seeing you with glasses on. <laughs> it takes I'm getting used to. My favorite pair from here, and I'm going to see if I can find a similar shape in one of the cheaper brands. Got yeah. But then if I decide that I love them. Christmas stuff. Yeah, it is, it is. You got some Dior. Show us your bag. <laughs> You're happy with your purchase. You got your glasses. Very productive. I got absolutely zero gifts for anybody, but I did pick up an It Cosmetics CC cream. guys they smell so good what one is this oh my god this is so nice what does this one smell like oh it reminds me of something is that your old flat literally if i smell that i'm like standing in my hallway it's my old flat so. <laughs> It's a lot of cosy items going on. I like these green ones. You love a green one. Yeah, I do at the moment, to be green. fair. I'm thinking of getting us an olive green sofa. Yeah? Yeah, like in a velvet. That sounds good. I feel like you'd yeah. like that. It's like where we can both agree. What do you think about this colour? I feel like a sofa. 
Yeah, it's probably uh, more practical than a white, as we currently have. <laughs> Like that's where I came to with olive green. I was like, actually. Yeah, that that's nice. I guess that is kind of like green is. It's dark though. I don't know. It just reminds me of like. Yeah, please. It just reminds me of like a bit like a leather sofa. I don't know if I love that. But. One thing I would say I I feel like green is kind of trendy, whereas that yeah, isn't. True. I felt like olive green would be really nice if we did like panelling on the walls and then with like a really nice marble fireplace. That would be nice, yeah. That would be great. Um, I feel like you'd like that. Yeah, I do like it. What is it? I don't know. <laughs> it's the magic of Zara home. Sometimes you just don't know what these things are for. I know we're meant to be Christmas shopping and this is just a list of things that I would like, but I'd like to add these wine glasses to the list. It's like half a bottle, isn't it, in one glass? Yeah. Perfect. No, wait, look at this. These shop glasses. They're not like 20 though. Those sound like these. Uh, I do, but that's kind of the vibe, isn't it? Because they're like old granny vibe, but they feel a little bit more modern. Yeah, the black kind of makes it cool. Yeah. What do we think? Is it, yeah. is it granny? Because you guys let me know. Really obsessed with this chair. Shame I'm on an armchair band now, but this one's really nice. And I love this lamp as well. We are going to Aesop get some hand wash for my mum because I introduced her to the hand wash and now she's obsessed with it and that was a very expensive mistake. Yeah. She might see this. Be careful what you give people. Oh my god you guys, look at this walking stick. That is Nala. That's what I'm gonna get you when you're old. <laughs> Shall I buy it now in advance? Yeah. It's, on, it's on sale to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what is that? Oh my god. How do I not know about this place? I think we do you come, come here often? Uh, mostly when I'm with Josh, he's the bad influence. Yeah, you're blaming it on Josh. Yeah. Poor Josh. <laughs> wow. Yeah, they're so good. Oh my god. Vegan berry crumble bun. If anyone's wondering, this place is called Down to Earth. Ryan has never told me about this place before. He's telling me he yeah, has, okay. but I swear I haven't heard about it. It looks insane. No, I've never been here. They've like run out of donuts. No, you must have been with your other girlfriend because it definitely wasn't me. Rude. It's probably just Josh, to be fair. <laughs> We're probably the reason they ran out of donuts. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, I wouldn't be surprised. Anyway, next stop. Aesop for mother's hand cream. Hand cream, hand wash, that's the one. Oh, it smells amazing. I completely forgot to film anything in Aesop, but it is literally the prettiest store. I got very carried away taking photos. Um, I'll pop them on screen if you wanted to see what it looked like. So cute. But yeah, I think we are done in town now. Actually, we actually spent a lot less time shopping than I thought we would. Um, we were a bit too productive. I don't feel like there was much to vlog, but I think we're going to head home now. We're going to go via M&S, get some food, get some presents for my dad, um, gift card for Nick and Sean, and then we are done for the Christmas shopping. Thank God, because I actually think there might be something wrong with me, you know? There, I get so overwhelmed when we come into town. Like, I just have reached a point recent, like, in the last, like, 10 minutes where I'm like, I can't, I can't be here anymore. Like, I don't feel, I don't feel okay. <laughs> I feel very overstimulated, so I'm glad we're done.
in the middle of wrapping presents. So I got my dad a jumper and my mum an Aesop hand wash. And I'm actually just in the middle of wrapping a Victor and Rolf um, personalised fragrance. But Ryan's Christmas present has just arrived, or one of them. Weirdly, I think there were meant to be two parcels from the same retailer, but only one thing has arrived so slightly worried about the other things it was quite small however i'm very glad that this one has made it i got him this really gorgeous like weekend bag because he only has a tiny suitcase but we do do a lot of overnight stays and i know that this will be perfect for him and it just looks so smart just a classic black bag but with silver hardware it feels really lovely like the quality is great um it looks really gorgeous and i know that he will love this it's quite a modern weekender bag so i think it's perfect for him um it's got lots of padding in it so to be honest i think i'm just gonna wrap it up in this box um, and really throw him with the fact that there's a huge present for him under the tree which i've done in previous years and it's so funny because he gets so weird about like giant gifts and it's so funny watching him like try and figure out what the giant gift is so this box is going to be great and then I've also got him um, coming from Cowshed. I've actually got him a dressing gown. Um, and I've also got him, he asked for the Cowshed deodorants. This is what kind of inspired this. They only had travel sizes, like the little minis. So I got him a load of little minis and I'm going to like put them inside the weekender bag, I think. So I'm going to wait for them to arrive. Fingers crossed they arrive. Actually, I won't wrap this now because I really wanted to put them inside and have like the weekender bag with like a dressing gown in it and then like the little mini deodorants and stuff like that and kind of make like a whole theme and feature out of it. I thought that would be really cute. I'm kind of gonna sit on this for now, but I just thought I'd show you because I know a lot of you kind of struggle with buying for like the men in your lives, whether it's siblings, dads, partners. I think this is quite a universal, like universally nice um, Christmas gift. So yeah, I just thought I'd share that with you quickly whilst Ryan is not in the house. Actually, do you know what? I thought I'd quickly show you a few of the bits that I've got people for Christmas before we crack on with the wrapping. If you are a family member or a friend, please stop watching now. Christmas will be ruined. Stop watching, stop it right now. I know you're still watching, please stop. So we've got this for Ryan's brother and his partner because I know that they love the smell of my house so much. So um, yeah, I picked this up for them. Actually, a long time ago now and i've since seen that they already have purchased um like bigger sizes of the diffuser i think oh no i think it might have actually been this size they purchased this for the, their kitchen um so i feel very confident that they will really appreciate this gift set because it's got the same diffuser and then two little candles as well which is lovely i've got emily ratikowski my body which i have already read and was gifted a long time ago and then i got gifted a second copy and one of my friends just happened to say recently that she hasn't read it and really wants to read it so i was like right you're getting my second copy so that's a slight cop out but i know she wants it so screw it i've also already ordered her some christmas flowers as well so not being a complete cheapskate there but still the thought is there and that's mostly the point my mum is getting a victor and rolf flower bomb it's got her initials engraved on it my auntie is getting the clay de po cleansing trio gift set which is lush and she loves her skincare i believe she got a skincare advent calendar one year or something like that um but i know she really likes like good skincare so i know she'll love that my brother's girlfriend is getting a lot of the nars starstruck holiday collection and she is also getting this wonderful peppa pig christmas decoration because her and my brother have just officially bought their house a million miles away which i'm very sad about but i knew that they would appreciate this for their christmas tree so they're getting that as well and then i've also got them a john lewis gift voucher which is in my handbag and i need to get that
Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Yeah, put them in. Oh. <laughs> They're not gonna be <laughs> Wow. Someone's not awake this morning. Oh my goodness, you guys. Christmas, really not. Christmas has come early. I've just been opening some of my posts this morning and I have got some lovely bits that I wanted to show you. First up, Victor and Rolf have sent me this gorgeous Christmas tree. They also sent me a restock of Flower Bomb, which is super lovely of them. But look at this. Is this not just the cutest thing you've ever seen? Oh, that's so, honestly, that's so sweet. I then also opened an early Christmas gift from my managers. How sweet are they? They got me the winter cowshed diffuser and the candle so gorgeous i didn't realize that any of these were like christmas gifts so i fully have opened them early but we love an early christmas present over here we then have honestly nadine marabi they are just the sweetest team and they have sent me these gorgeous green pajamas if you've seen my tiktok you'll know i have the pink version of these which i actually got gifted on an elizabeth arden press trip and i love the pink ones but oh my god are the green not just the most festive thing you've ever seen and i just feel like it's perfect given the color scheme this year honestly green has weirdly woven its way into my life over the course of this year like i just keep noticing it more and more it's probably just a color that is very on trend right now but i just think it's so weird that all of my christmas wrapping is also green and i don't even know how i decided that my christmas wrapping was going to be green a little bit strange i can't lie but i am so excited to wear these honestly absolutely in love i might try them on with you now just so we can like see if they fit and then down here this box here this box is actually my christmas gift to myself which i will not be opening i will be waiting until christmas day to open this like a good human how lovely is all of this oh 
just feels so spoiled. So thank you so much to the Victor and Rolf team, to my managers, to Nadine Morabi, and also to Sandra Pay, who have sent me the biggest box this morning. I actually can't show you everything in here because they've sent me some top secret stuff, but they have sent us a huge tin um, that contains a very lovely bottle of champagne. What is in here? We've got some gorgeous Saint Tropez bits. These are all lovely. The Instant Glow. Oh my god, these are so cool. It's basically like a mixture of body makeup and like instant tan, which is a lifesaver for me when I forget to tan my like chest and neck. Oh my goodness, how cute is this? Oh, that is so sweet. Thank you so much to the Saint Tropez team. They've literally been a dream. Wait, where do I put this? They have literally been a dream to work with this year. I swear I was missing a branch earlier. I literally was looking at a branch that was annoying me because I felt like it was free. Where has it gone? The things that I do in my spare time is I just look at my Christmas tree from the sofa and get annoyed because there's like gaps and then apparently can't find them. I'm sure I'll see it later, but I will pop it on this empty branch for now. But yeah, I need to crack on and do some more wrapping. I have to say, so this is what the wrapping looks like in daylight. I have to say, I'm so happy with um, this color scheme. This actually looks more teal on the camera to my eye right now. I don't know how it will come across for you guys, but they're like a gorgeous, almost emerald green, just a little bit lighter, like emerald is more deep, I think, but very close to like an emerald green, really stunning. I got it off of Amazon. I'll link it in case anyone is interested, although I feel like it might be a bit late now. But just in case anyone wants some inspo or just is nosy, because I feel like I said this about the Christmas gift ideas last night, and actually, just in case you're feeling nosy, it doesn't even need to be inspo, but just in case you're nosy and you want to see the colour scheme, this is uh, what I decided to go for, and I just love it. I also love this khaki ribbon, which was actually last year's colour scheme, but I always save the ribbons if no one wants them. Um, so like we've hung our wreath on our door this year with this colour ribbon as well that was saved from last year. But it looks gorgeous with this green wrapping paper, which I think is from Sainsbury's. And so you might still be able to get your hands on it from your local supermarket. And then we have black gift wrap, which I think is just from Amazon. And I do really like the black gift wrap now I'm like seeing it in daylight I really wasn't sure last night but I think it looks better on square boxes although that tape is upsetting me but um I think it looks better on like a square neat box than on a softer item but yeah I've also just added ribbons to the nice gift bags I felt like it was a shame to wrap up but yeah I'm really happy with this and I think like the green is just so lovely especially with my new pajamas I think it's going to be so cute let's see how this looks. Oh, such a beautiful colour. Oh, it's like small, perfect. I wish these had arrived earlier. I wouldn't have bothered getting dressed this morning. God. Yes, oh my God, these are so cool. Make sure you can see them. Oh my God, they're so fun. And the nice thing about these is you could wear them with a pair of heels um, or a pair of slippers. Some of you will be very over this, I know, because it was a look that was literally everywhere last Christmas? Is it last Christmas? Maybe the Christmas before? Like the past few Christmases this look has been rinsed but I do just think it's such a fun way to dress up on Christmas day. If you're someone that just likes to wear like nice pyjamas and you just stay like my family when I was growing up we'd always just wear pyjamas mostly like we'd never really like I thought it was bizarre that people dressed up on Christmas day like got fully fully dressed into an outfit because my whole life until I was like in my late late teens I'd never left the house on Christmas day I just thought it was so weird even the concept of a walk was bizarre to me everyone in my family aside from my mum is a complete introverted sloth so we just don't do much so this is like the perfect if you want to look nice but you actually just want to be in your pyjamas kind of Christmas day outfit. I mean, it looks better if the pyjama bottoms aren't as long, but on me, they're just always going to be super long. But if I roll them up, yeah, you get a better feel for how they actually probably sit lengthwise on most people. But yeah, I just think they're so cute. This might be my Christmas day outfit. This might be my Christmas day outfit, to be honest. Like, this is perfect. And then I'll wear my gold jumpsuit on New Year's Eve, maybe. Because I was going to wear the gold jumpsuit on Christmas Day, but 
the Dean Marabi may have just changed my mind. I also love that you can tuck this as well if you do want it to look just a little bit smarter and a little bit more dressy. <laughs> hot chocolate addiction this morning they gifted us this and now i can't stop drinking it i am a mocha girl forever now also this little whisk is changing the way i have coffee forever <laughs> it's so fun do you know what i think this jumper is one of the best purchases i've made this year and i know i've only just bought it but i love it i literally have worn it every other day this month i swear i actually really feel like i've had a good capsule wardrobe going on during vlogmas like when i've been linking things it has been easy it has been quick this totem jumper though has been the standout for me i've absolutely loved wearing it prepare to see it a hell of a lot more over the coming months also yes i know i am surrounded by crap uh this is what my office looks like most of the time uh, always surrounded by like there's so much makeup like i'm literally <laughs> this is my desk so do excuse that but yeah honestly i am obsessed with this jumper so i'm so sorry if you're sick of seeing it but i just i love it so much if you want to get your hands on this for yourself by the way my farfetch code is still live this month until the 31st of december and you can use it in conjunction with sale items i actually used it last night i i did a bit of late night shopping which i know i'm supposed to be banned from doing and to be fair I've been really good at this month and as you will have noticed there have been minimal purchases. I definitely think it uh, has made such a difference to the way I purchased but I did have a few things. I purchased them late night but I had favourited them and been considering them over the course of a few weeks. It wasn't as impulsive as it sounds but I used my own code. It was great so I got sale items and then I got my code on top. So that probably won't arrive until after Christmas but I'm actually, I've decided this year I'm going to vlog the week of Christmas just here and there. I'm not going to vlog too much on Christmas day because um, I just love to be chill on christmas day and it's just the most boring day in the world but in a lovely way like we just sit around and watch movies and it's actually not that interesting especially um when my siblings aren't around like there's no one doing stupid accents except me and mine aren't as funny as my brother's because i lack the dramatic talent i'll show you the bits that picked up as they arrive because i'm so looking forward to them arriving i hope they are as good as i think they're gonna be. Apart from my spendiness, I really haven't been up to much over the past couple of days, just very much in an editing coma because I just had, I had two videos to edit back to back. I was quite ahead with the filming and not with the editing and it was making me quite anxious. So I had to take two days off to just literally edit. But the downside of that is I am now behind on the vlogging again and I desperately wanna get everything done before the 21st, uh, which is tomorrow. Slightly unrealistic, but um, Emily in Paris season three comes out and I'm so excited. I literally, that is my like, that is the start of my Christmas vacay which sadly won't be on the 21st i just don't think that's gonna happen but as soon as i'm done with vlogmas i will be there on the sofa binge watching it oh, i can't wait i think it might actually be my favorite tv show that i've seen in the longest time like maybe i don't think i've loved something this much since gossip girl although did watch the finale of the handmaid's tale last night superb that's not a spoiler, by the way, because The Handmaid's Tale is always good. Anyway, I also wanted to say the biggest thank you to everyone who has reached out um, from watching my last video, uh, which in which I was an emotional wreck. Um, and actually, like, it's the most bizarre thing when reading through the comments. Like, it's not even like, you know, sometimes you cry and you blubber. It's not like that, but my eyes just are streaming like every time I look at the comments um, and reading your stories as well. Like so many of you reached out and shared very similar experiences or experiences that I can't even begin to 
fathom some of the experiences are so much more heartbreaking and um i just want to send so much love to all of you and say thank you so much to everyone that reached out i am slowly making my way through replying to everyone and finally before i go it looks like we did literally zero christmas shopping um but we actually did like i'm pointing my laptop is here the edit is up even the dior bag it made it look like it was something for ryan it's actually for someone else trying to keep the spoilers to a minimum here even though i think i've already ruined ryan's surprise because uh he saw me editing great i don't know why i feel the need to tell you that and to defend myself like it doesn't really does it really matter as long as i got my christmas shopping done honestly also this is definitely my favorite lipstick of the month the nars power matte and sweet disposition mm. I'm gonna go now because I have waffled on for 11 minutes. Oh no, wait, almost 12. I will hopefully see you in my next vlog. I mean, I feel like, I, I don't know if I have another vlog left in me, but we will see. Uh, if I do have one, it will probably be up Thursday or Friday. Hopefully Thursday. I'm gonna shut up now. I'm gonna go. Love you, bye.